Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 401. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 398 to 405. Hey, in the next five tricks, we're going to talk about how to make quarter-to-quarter -quarter reports or month-to-month -month reports that show the difference. Now, the first one we're going to do is quarter-to-quarter, -quarter, and the quarter starts at uh, January 1st and the last quarter ends at December 31st. Later we'll see what to do if you have uh, different quarters. And our end result, we're going to use a pivot table in this 401 and the end result is going to look, uh, if I can find it, it's going to look like this. So we'll have our years, our quarters, there's the sales, and there will be a difference column. So from quarter one to quarter two we had a difference of minus 2,090. All right, the first thing is you got to have your data set up field names, uh, records in rows. Then we can use a pivot table. I'm going to go up to Insert, Pivot, Pivot Table. In this version, the keyboard shortcut, the Alt keyboard shortcut, make sure you only have one cell highlighted is Alt NVT. Alt NVT. Now I'm going to put my uh, pivot table in this worksheet. So maybe I'll click right there and then click OK. Now I have, this looks like 2003 because I have an extension .xls so it's showing me uh, the, at least in the spreadsheet it looks like 2003. Ah, but the first thing we need to do is uh, we have dates, not quarters, not months, not years. So we need to actually drop the date field in the row area. And then I'm going to right click and go to group. And we want to say group by months, not months. So I'm going to uncheck that, unclick that, quarters and years. Notice it says it picked up the earliest date there. And then I'm going to click OK. So boom, just like that. Now over here we have uh, years and date, so it's added a new field. I'm actually going to grab date, which is the quarters, and drag it to the columns. So now it looks like we have our quarters. Now in order to have two, I want to show the sales and the difference. So I'm going to take the sales field and drag it once down to values, and then a second time. So now I have sum of sales. If your uh, sum of sales are stacked on top of each other, then you want to take your date right here and right click and say move, and then there's an option for move to column. All right, now we need to do a couple things. One is we need to clean up this. I don't want to see some sales. I want to see sales, so I'm going to type sales. And guess what? If you hit enter, there's already a field called sales, so it won't let you. You type a space. I learned that from Mr. Excel's pivot table book. That is just one of the best pivot table tricks ever. It tricks the pivot table, and so it's a space, so it thinks it's a new field. So when you hit enter, it accepts it. Notice we could have gone to value field settings, but you can just type the name right here. Uh, and it changes it for each one of the occurrences. Now I'm going to put diff here for difference because that's what that one's going to be. And if you scroll over you can see it changed all of them. Now I want to right click and go to value field settings because we want to change some number formatting. It's better to change the number formatting in the value fields because it'll stick when you pivot. And I'm going to say number. Uh, comma like that and then click OK, click OK. So that's all we're going to do to that one. Now this one we need to have the difference. So really this first one's going to show zero because there is no pre previous. But here, right in this cell right here, it's going to say this minus this. So what we should get there is equals this minus this. So we should get minus, uh, we've gone down by 2,090. Notice when I click outside the pivot table, the uh, field list goes away. Actually we don't need this anymore. And there is something at the end here, these totals. We don't want those. We want them for the, these are the row totals. Uh, you could go to right click pivot table options, but there's also in design, and I have my menu all scrunched up here. You got to go to layout and go to grand totals and then say on for columns only. So it's only going to show the column totals. And you can see these are turned off. Whoop. All right, uh, now <clears throat> let's click here, right click field settings, and uh, let's add our number format. The student number, and then that one, 
click OK, and then show values as. And here it is, show values as. We want difference from. If you watched any of my statistic videos, I showed you a bunch of these options here. Uh, OK, so now base field, guess what? We're going from quarter to quarter, right? We want to see the difference quarter two from quarter one. So we say base field date. That's the name it's using. We actually could uh, change that too, but we'll leave that there, date. And then what do we want it? From the previous, the base item, and then click OK. So there you could see we have it. Now I'm going to add a little formatting, design. I'm going to click the More button for pivot table styles and maybe select that one. And I'm going to violate the rule. Usually you want to use the built-in feature so when you pivot, uh, it sticks. I'm going to go ahead and put some color right here. Just so I can see once I'm you know, near my completion and I'm not going to pivot it anymore. And so there we have our report. It shows us uh, with a pivot table our years and our quarters and the difference from quarter to quarter. When we come back, we'll see how to do a similar uh, setup but for months. All right, we'll see you next trick.